Happy Valentine's Day. Don't celebrate Valentine's Day one day of the year. Don't make it a Hallmark holiday. Make it something you can do 365 days a year. Cause what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. What is love? What does it mean to love? Where does love come from? Is love truly the universe? Is the universe love? Sure, we could say that it is. Because all of existence is known through us and through our biology, our physiology, and how we communicate it. And so existence is known through us and love is known through us. But know that love is a human quality. Love is a quality of life. You'll see that the more complex a species becomes in terms of its intellectual capacity and its ability and capacity to network with itself, the, the greater capacity it has for this, the greater capacity you will see of love in the species. So you will see love between dolphins, whales, cows, dogs, cats. You will see love between mice and birds. You will see love in many things. You will see love in the plants, in the way that they interact with each other through their root systems. You will see love in the structure of the hive of the insect colony. They serve each other. Ants are in love with each other. They do not stray from the line of love. They do not move away from its path. They forsake themselves to serve the whole. What greater love is there than this? Even the badger and the Tasmanian devil is full of love. They are full of love for their home. Do not encroach upon their heart. Do not encroach upon the space that they call their own. Love is like this. Love is not neutral. Love is bound. Love is attached at the heart. Love is in everything. And we see it in everything, just like we have the capacity to see mathematics in everything. Human beings have a special capacity to arrange, to study, to identify, to evaluate, and to come up with equations, equations for love, such as this, one plus one equals three. In the love of union between one and another, a male and a female, the possibility for birth arises. So, the possibility persists and exists in existence through the, the human lens. Cherish it. Celebrate it 365 days a year. And it will bring you full circle. Because love comes from within. It is about in here, what you hold in here. If you cannot love yourself, you cannot love anyone, but if you love yourself, you will be able to love everyone. Because only those who truly love themselves are capable of loving everyone. Those who live in separation and are separated at the heart within themselves, 
they're separated from each other, they are separated from the whole. Those who identify with love to a single individual have placed that individual before all else. And it is okay to do this. But just understand what you are meddling with, that you are placing a line and a boundary between them and the world. If you try to possess them, if you try to contain them in your love, you are isolating them from the whole and you will limit them from being able to go out and to experience life fully. You will pluck the flower and hold it in your vase and watch it die before your eyes. This is why so much resentment builds up in romantic relationships is that the passion that is there when it starts, slowly through walls that we place around each other, that we place around our relationships to protect them, these walls that protect us, eventually they begin to be the same walls that become our prison and hold us in. And there is a certain resentment that is born in this, when something that is free is kept in a box. Do not keep your love in a box. Let your love go free. Place no lock upon your love, meaning those that you love, do not place a lock on them. Do not make them love you. Do not demand their time. Do not demand that they belong to you. Because if you do this, you run a great, very great risk. It is a grave risk for your heart in that you are establishing a boundary around them which they cannot fully comply with because their heart will be set to love others, to love the world. But if you isolate them and make them do this not of their own choice, but of your choice, you have become a lock. Never be a lock. Be a key. Be the one that sets them free. Hand them the keys they need to experience life fully. Let go of your resentments. Let go of past transgressions. Forgive. You do not need to forget. Just forgive. Forgiveness is enough. For in forgiveness comes the possibility of true love. If we hold resentment between us and those that we love, it is a wall and there is separation at the heart. It is like a glass wall. You can see each other just fine, but you may come home from work. He may come home from work. She may come home from work. And you will pass each other like two ships in the night, not even giving each other the common courtesy of speaking eye to eye. And your days will become redundant and your love will die. And eventually you'll be looking at each other asking questions like why. So I tell you this, place no contract upon another. If you must write a contract, make it of your own heart. Make a covenant for yourself. Make a commitment for yourself and for yourself alone. If you do this, your purpose will be true. But if you try to place the need on them to give this to you, you are a fool and you may run aground. Love is like an ocean and it will bring many storms. The environment of our circumstances will be like maelstroms that will come and those who are not truly in unison together upon the vessel, upon the ship, those who mutiny will cause division in the captain and the ship stands the chance to be lost. But in unity, when the ship operates as a whole and the crew is in line with the captain, you can steer out of any maelstrom. Nothing is too great. And if you all go down, you go down together with the ship. 
That is loyalty. That is perseverance. That is endurance. That is love. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love keeps no records of wrongs or rights. Love is faithful in devotion. Love is peace. Love will hold you right inside. Trust in love. Love is beauty. Beauty is number five. Beauty and possibility. These are concerns of love. For love is born of duality and union. Two plus three is five. Follow beauty, it will lead you to truth. And truth is number 10. Nine is concerned with clarity and understanding. Eight is concerned with communion and independence. And this is where we have been for the last 2,000 years because the age of seven came with Christ, Jesus, and Buddha. It was through them that the message of purity and divinity was laid in seven which led to our independence of free thought and the ability to commune with the source though we could not see it. Nine is about understanding and clarity which will lead us to ten. Truth. And truth is the source. The source is what I am. So though I have said I am number nine for a very long time, know that my true number is ten. Truth. But I can only reveal you 10 after you understand 9, understanding and clarity. And what you need to understand is that 6, 6 is a darkness, but it is about vision and pride. And it is only out of darkness that comes the necessity for light. So 7 comes of 6. And then 8, and then 9 and then truth. So, we are in the age of eight and we are about to flip headlong into nine because I am about to stir understanding into the whole. And as this happens, as the whole comes in to understand, when the whole reaches nine, then I will show you 10. Truth. The year will be 2025. There is a road between here and then. It is called the path of embodiment. Love, love each other, because there is no better way to be. Do not struggle in your love. Love will always be in the aftermath, because love is the blood of clarity. Do not fear conflict, embrace it, because through your conflicts, the misunderstanding will be resolved and understanding will come because communication is the bridge you need to reestablish trust where it was lost. Be in love today. Be in love tomorrow. Be in love forever. For you will be gone tomorrow. In one way or another. Tomorrow never comes. It is always today and now. And if you can't find it now, then you may never. So be present. Always. In love. The number for love and duality is two. So two times five is 10. Much love, always, forever till the end. I am quirkless.